like always, we have to have a reference because I don't know how to create or paint makeup. I have to ask my girlfriend. So search from the internet, get a good reference like this one and start copying it. I get black and start doing a line in the eyelids and with a type of arrow going in the exterior part of the eyes like this. Then to do the eyelashes is really fun. You create an ivory type of skin paint, really thick, only with a pointed brush. You clean it well and start doing lines dividing the black we already painted and this ivory type of skin. This for me is the, my favorite part. Slowly began painting these little dots also in the top of the eyelashes. This is um, not always possible because the sculpt has to let you do this. This is also a really important part in the makeup. You place more highlight in the interior part of the eye and the more you go outside, the more black you add, like in the illustration. Once we have this easy and simple makeup, let's go for the eyes. We want to paint the white part of the eyes that's never white, it's grey or ivory. You will understand why later. And slowly, using the point of the brush, you start going inside the eye. A thing is that you have to try to let align the silhouette of the background of the eye. Now, this is a really important part, is the eyelids. You have to paint a really thin line representing or creating a 3D effect on the eye. The eye is a ball, so you have to paint a thin line that's a highlight that's affecting mostly the middle part of this ball that's the whole eye anatomy and in the other eye just because the light comes a bit from the left you have to focus and place that little line mostly in the left part we create volume with this this is a thing we tend to forget when we paint eyes color the iris we choose the color we want, uh, brown, green, blue, but we have to get a dark tone of this color. In my case, I wanted like a greenish type of blue uh, colors of eyes, so I get a dark blue. Started painting the silhouette of the eye. This is really important. The direction of the look. How much space of white you let in the top or in the bottom. If you let too much white in the bottom, maybe you are creating a lazy, a tired looking. This is the most important part you have to focus because we want to create an uh, interesting, an attractive or an aggressive or emotions with the eye. So be careful, use thick paint to have more control and try to copy one eye and another one. Try to do it parallel. In this case, look what's too bad and you need a bit more of, of corrections. More or less we are getting there. But still look at the right eye. It's not so roundish. Copy the eye that's better. In this case is the other one, the left one. Both hands laid in the table to avoid shaking get the brush, hold the brush in the metal part and now it's better. Look at the difference. We have it and the next step is get a more clear color of this one. This is type of a, a blue with a bit of a yellow and white and we create a half moon only in the bottom part of the eye trying to let uh, the silhouette of the dark iris we already painted. Why? 
just watch at real eyes. They have highlight in the bottom of the iris. It's really interesting. The other side, the same. Try to match both eyes. We have ready. Next step, we add a bit more of value in our mix. This is adding a bit more of white and we do a smaller half moon inside the previous one. This is the last step uh, painting the bottom part of the iris. The more divisions you get in the eye, the more steps, and the more micro details you get in the eye, the better it gets. And now the eyes are alive with those tiny touches. Ready. Next step is to get black and do the pupil. Remember thick paint and try to place it in the center. Try to um, also paint over a bit the half moon. Try to do it really circular. Don't worry if you get it wrong because it's really easy to um, rub out the work. Now with pure white just place little dots in the top part of the iris and also surrounding a bit the, the iris in the um, type of white part of the eye that in the beginnings was grey. This is why we use grey or ivory in the beginning to place the background of the eye and now this is pure white to create 3D effect, to create volume. It's the same theory that when we painted the eyelashes, if you paint a highlight in the center of the ball you create volume and slowly see start painting the brightness and now the last step is to get a wash of an orangey type of pink color and place it in the interior part of the eye representing that reddish tone we all have done look at the uh, at the look she has and how it will change when we paint the eyebrows. Just get a brown tone, if we are painting a brown hair, obviously, and start doing the line of the eyebrows. Why and how I know where to place the eyebrows? Because I have a reference. It's really, really, really easy to ruin all the work if you do uh, the eyebrows without references because add a uh, personality this adds personality to the to the figure so you have to get reference and try to copy and try to first before you paint think about the expression about the feelings you want to uh, show with her i wanted a type of uh, relaxed expression a bit aggressive but not so um, strong aggressiveness that's why I create this type of arrow or pyramid uh, eyebrows that um, type of curves in the exterior part in this part uh, curves a bit down the more curved you get uh, the eyebrows the more aggressiveness you take in the in the looking for example here is a really good example in the C part of the eyebrows there goes a really high, a really uh, curved part. The more curved you get this one, the more aggressiveness you get in the, in the look. Try to end them with a point. And now, yes, when you have the shape, it's time to do those hairs, those tiny individual hairs. Again, this is really thick and start doing those lines with the color, with the brown color and also with the tone, the base tone of the skin. With this, you are dividing a bit the eyebrows and creating hairs using the skin. Next step is getting the brown tone and do those individual hairs really sharp. Now, when you do a big step, you stop, 
analyze and try to make it better. In my opinion, the look was a bit um, really soft, really plain. I wanted a bit more aggressiveness. So the solution here is changing the eyebrows. This is why they are so important. Doing it, this point are a little more, uh, more curved, you obtain another feeling in the looking. Look how a tiny, tiny line, it changed a bit. It's really subtle, but it's enough to pay attention and to make better decisions. Notice the difference. Now the eyes are a bit more like opened, are more, more clear, more uh, strong. It's a strong woman. For me, the, the soul of the whole project is here in those eyes, in those eyebrows. This is where the emotions are. Now the lips are really easy, I don't want a fancy lips, just follow again illustrations or pictures and do tiny brights, focusing more on the left part. Now that we have the face done, let's go for the hair that I think that this sculpt for me is the best sculpt to paint hair because it's really plain, it allows you to give strokes. Let's go.